Okay, so today is the 29th. Okay, so that's the 29th of March. Now, listen, we did say market might do, well, not might do, uh, up. We said Sun and Venus will go up. And I said, be careful on Friday. Now, on Friday, Sun and Venus did a conjunction right here. Where was it? On the 9th, 9 o'clock bar. Now, I said you could wait till the 9 o'clock bar here. Okay, this is my time, 9 o'clock. And you could sell here, which was actually just pretty much on the weekly period, as I recall, okay? And the market made a little bit of a pullback there, just about 12, 13 points, before it did this funny thing, shot up, and now it's coming down. Now, I thought that was it when it did it on Friday. Okay, this up move. So this was a good spot to sell until Friday in New York session. You know, it did its move a bit later. You, you, we do have a plus or minus 24 hour thing slippage with the um uh, with this astrology but this i mean i wasn't expecting this much i was expecting a spike but this was like the spike i expected but it turned out to be this one okay so here it was still a good sell hour and the market did sell for several hours you can see here it was just going down <coughs> and normally when we're using atam that's our coverage zone so you know, this was a spot to, like I said, sell last week. Uh, if it goes up, I did say don't be afraid to sell because they'll just push it up to sell, if you recall. And this is what they've done. All right. So this is um, why selling was the better option because of that um, conjunction. Now on the weekly, this is just shy of the PST, but it's pretty much on the line. It's just under it. Okay. Uh, the height it was 64.41 and it's just you know pretty much under 64.91 um, because it's really close it might have done it um, so what you can do is do this you can either wait to see what will happen this is a support zone okay um, wait to see what happens uh, if it starts breaking down okay um, We'll have to wait a little bit. Okay, selling, if it goes up, definitely sell. That's for sure. But just in the middle of nowhere, I don't know. All right. If you want to sell in a place like this, you can, but just keep your stop loss there, just above there. Right now, you don't want to take it too far all the way out there. Okay. Or enter with a really tight stop loss and just keep your stop loss there. Okay, just, you know, keep the lot small or something. Other than that, you can wait. If it breaks down, Okay, below here, 316, 31916. On any pullback, you're good to sell to push it down here or down here. Okay, that's your weekly target on the PST. Let's take a look at gold. Gold, now on a pullback, we're expecting to go long. I did make a few calculations on this. Okay. And oops, there we go. So here is a good Sunday, March 28. So that makes 29 Monday. So, and Wednesday, 31. So 29 today, if the market pulls back, today is a good pullback day. Okay. And if it does, it should pick up. All right. Um, and take us up. Um, I've also made a few calculations on gold. So the price should Eventually, my price target is going to be 1750 and then it will be 1880 up there somewhere. I did a bit of a calculation on gold. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so, uh, okay. Right. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now, euro dollar. This is a support zone, but this has got room to come down. As we know, okay, I said we'll be coming all the way down here, and this will be the first support zone here, right? So th that's what it is. This is the first support zone. So what will the market do here is a question. Um, as you can see, it breaks down. It's like broken down. If it pops its head up a little bit, 42, 82, 28, that's 18, 15, 24, that's your kill zone. 18, 15, 24 is your, is your sell zone, um, which is a bit up here, all right? Now, I just drew this here today. 
um, it's like a channel as you can see maybe we can do that okay and pretty much you know if this is going to break this is going to break here um, but I'm just like I hate selling on support so I'm just not going to sell on support if it raises its head up then sell okay if you want to buy you got to buy it on the lines on the weekly unfortunately if it breaks down here there is no line okay so if it breaks down here it'll stop on the daily which is the 30 or the 2843 which is 1742 1712 so it's got room to come down okay because the trend is going down uh, i'm just you know not crazy about selling it just here so on a daily support um, on the daily zone this zone here 1815 to 1833 would be my sell zone if it goes above the daily and the week uh, above the daily opening and the daily pivot we'll probably get up to a channel top if it does this will be a sell zone 1815 to 30 30 level okay this will be the sell zone but buying at the uh, selling at the support is just not my thing. Okay, so if it comes to you, trade it that way. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now with the Aussie dollar, we're going down as well. Oh, look at that! Goodbye kiss, just like we drew magic, just like we drew. Okay, so there's no. There you go. Goodbye kiss, beauty. Oh, that's a beauty. Okay, very nice. See that? I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be afraid to sell this because, you know, it's a goodbye kiss. It broke down. You got targets down there. It wants to retest the bottom. Your first target will be fifty thirty. So this is safer to sell. See, this is just like a good setup. Seventy five seventy one. So we'll probably be going down to that zone. And see, this is good. Then I can just put a stop loss above 76.55. See, this was like a good, this was good. Yeah, beauty. All right, just under the weekly. See, this is the kind of stuff that, that we should be looking to sell at. Okay, beauty. So even, even though it's on the daily pivot, you know, even selling here, I wouldn't be too afraid because we're close. I'll just say, you know, I'll put a stop loss under 70, uh, above 76.54. And that's it. The white line is what we drew last week. Okay, so let me get rid of that. See, that's where the weekly pivot is today. So any, and this is your sell zone, so you can sell it here. Um, another thing is though, look out for the PST level. Okay, whoops. Which is the 56.59. Okay, so 56.55 is the 76.80. Um, and what about the red one? 15, that's 59, 77.30. So there are still sell bits and pieces here at the top, but today the best spot to sell was that, that's it, bang. Break down, goodbye kiss, follow through, triangle break down. And remember that was the goodbye kiss, so we've been like shorting since there. Okay, so that's good. Let's take a look at the Euro, uh, not the Euro, Aussie 200. This also look exactly where we drew the lines. Beautiful spike. I said we might spike up, comes to the line, boom, in between these two lines and a short off. Um, so there you go. Look, this you know worked like a magic charm. Goodbye, kiss. See the line. Let me bring this down. It's a goodbye kiss, and this is pretty much on the line, slightly above it. But you can see how it's all working with the PST and the technical analysis. Okay. Market goes up, opens just above, uh, just below the line makes a slight high for a goodbye kiss and then they just sell it off. Nice triangle, okay? If it breaks down, you see where we're going, okay? I think really good to follow. 
Okay, good. So this is like I said, Venus Sun conjunction and combustion happened. And that was like, boom. And that was just taking it up to be sold. Um, and this is also called a panic buy in trading. Okay, so market goes down and, you know, it's a big panic buy, take it up and then poof, selling it. Now, if this selling carries on all week, we'll see that, you know, this, is, this would have been the panic buy and then the sellers are coming in. So if the market starts, you know, making lower lows, then we've got something to talk about. But initially, you know, this line was um, what we needed to break. It was bottom to bottom. So it broke below, did its goodbye kiss, coming down. See how this works much better than the SP500. Makes much more common sense, the moves here. Um, also, on the daily, yes, yeah, see how nicely this all worked out. So we can now get rid of this, okay. This zone was like, once again, the sell zone at the top, see a sell zone. Now, if it falls all the way down here, this is going to be a buy zone until it's just, you know, it'll probably break one way or another um, if it, you know, carries on going down. But worked pretty much like according to what we said. This line and this line, the white line and the red one were, they were the options we had. And the red line option worked with the blue channel top nicely. Okay, so there's not much to talk about here. Yeah, so that's it, I think. And so we can, once, it, um, I'm not sure if this is the beginning of the downtrend, obviously, because we were expecting the end of March, first week of April to do, you know, some kind of turnaround. And this turnaround will probably, um, if it breaks below, if it just keeps breaking down, we'll make a, um, we'll come to the conclusion that, yeah, this is it, okay? We have to actually make a slightly lower than, um, not slightly, but yeah, at least come down to here, okay? At least, um, at least come down to here, all right? To kind of say, okay, you know what, I think we're turning around. But selling was the better option um, um, because it's all at the top, so you see sell, sell up, down, down, up. So if this carries on down um, and comes down, we can just start to ascertain what's going to happen with the market soon. Well, we won't have a big crash like this, I don't think, but I'm definitely starting to wave downwards is the better option. Something like, well, I don't know, because we haven't had that for a while, so. It's been an up, move, up, move. So instead of going up the up like this, we'll probably go downwards, but in this kind of rhythm, you know. And that's what will happen. Okay, cool. I hope that helps. Have a good start to the week. Any questions, always free to drop me a line. I'm more than happy to help.